What's up YouTubers, and today I'm going to be talking about 5 anime that need another season. I'm pretty sure we've all got one anime with a storyline that feels like it hasn't been completed. And considering there's currently a boom of western media game revival series in the form of an additional season, I thought it would be interesting to do that for some anime that have not been fully adapted yet. Such examples of series getting a revival season in the West are X-Men in the form of X-Men 97, iCarly with a rebooted season as adults, even Wizards of Waverly Place is getting a revival series soon. And it's not like anime hasn't done this before, we have Bleach getting a continuation with Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, Fairy Tale returning with Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, even Berserk got a revival series. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. These five anime have storylines continuing on from where the anime finished. These continuations could be in the manga or even the light novels themselves. Meaning that it is possible for these anime to have an additional season. So let's get the important stuff out of the way guys. These are my personal opinion. These are five anime I would like to get a revival and possibly get another season in the future. You're more than welcome to put your opinions down in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree with my picks or even have an anime you want to see get revival. I should also point out that I'm not going to be talking about reboots. I don't want any of these anime reboots, I just want a continuation. And of course if you like the content that I make why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out especially since a lot of you are not subscribed. That's quite big. So with all that out of the way, let's get to our first anime being High School of the Dead. I'm sure everyone has heard of High School of the Dead at some point or another. It's one of those legendary anime that everyone's been hyping up and wants a second season. We'll get to the other one later on. So what's High School of the Dead? Oh boy, this is going to be fun. It's about a group of high school students and one teacher escaping a zombie apocalypse. And it does it all with a successful combination of violence, etchiness and comedy. And it's done so well that China doesn't want it in their country. You know an anime is really good when a whole country says no to it. But here's the kicker, High School of the Dead has only adapted 4 volumes, that's 16 chapters. And there are currently seven volumes of High School of the Dead. So there's plenty of content left to adapt. So why haven't they? Well that's because the manga got discontinued. The creator of the manga, Sato Desikai, died in 2017 at the age of 52. So sadly that means the manga cannot continue. The creator has passed on so there's no way of knowing how the story would have continued after volume 7. And it hits even harder as well when we look into the co-writer of High School of the Dead. Back in 2019, the co-writer of High School of the Dead, Soichi Sato, was interviewed by Comic Natalie, where they were talking about Daisuke's death and where the series would continue from here. He stayed in the interview and I quote, Overseas fans who don't know the details of the situation say draw a continuation right away, but it's not that easy. We are saddened that the work has stopped halfway through, but just thinking about Daisuke Sato makes me think that I couldn't carelessly get involved. And now it just sort of makes sense why this series has not got a season 2. Sato lost a co-worker and a dear friend, so it would make sense it would feel wrong to continue High School of the Dead. Now I'll admit I would love to see the final 3 volumes get adapted into a High School of the Dead season 2. But I also gotta admit it feels a bit wrong to say that at the same time. Plus if we really look at the ending of High School of the Dead, it's a nice rounded story where they finished off. It leaves it ambiguous to where the story would continue. If we really want to know, we might as well just buy the remaining three volumes and have a look ourselves. So as much as I would like to say High School of the Dead definitely needs another season, I want to say it's sort of impossible for it to get a continuation. For now, I like High School of the Dead. If it ever does get season two where it finishes the last three volumes, I'm all for it. As for the story, I understand why it's been discontinued. But I'm going to be watching High School of the Dead now with a new perspective. Next up guys is We Never Learn. 
This anime series is a romantic comedy. It follows our main character, Naoyaki Yuga, who tutors a group of girls. And of course, throughout this series, Naoyaki finds himself in the most embarrassing, awkward, and etchy moments. So here's the big question, how much is adapted? Well, the anime adapted eight volumes at 65 chapters, along with volume 10, while adding on chapter 149 for the ending. If we ignore chapter 149's adaption into the final episode, we are left with 12 volumes left to adapt. But if we include the chapter that they have adapted, that takes us all the way up to volume 17. So if we do some quick math work right here, that's an extra season worth of content that could be adapted. So why not? The anime had an unsatisfying conclusion. No proper resolution for any of our main characters, and a few of the characters we get introduced to are left to the side. And what makes the manga so interesting is that it created alternate endings for each of the girls. So instead of another season, we could have multiple movies and each member of the fan base can pick their own favourite ending. And honestly, I really love that idea. I honestly struggle between which of the girls our main character should go out with. So with this movie idea, I could see all the optional endings our main character can go with and say, yeah, I'm picking that one as my definitive ending. I still say it could possibly be done even now. The anime second season ended back in 2019, with an OVA coming out afterwards in 2020. So I say after four years, give us the conclusion we've all been wanting, either as a series with multiple different endings, movies, we need that ending. I say go with the movie idea. It's not the first time we've had two movies with the same story. A good example of this is the movies, To Every You I've Longed Before and To Me The One Who Loved You. If these movies can be successful by telling the same story but with a bit of difference, surely a We Never Learn movie with different endings depending upon which girl he goes after would be a huge hit as well. Honestly, regardless how they do it, another season, some movies, I would honestly appreciate it. It will finally give us a satisfying ending to the series that we've all been waiting for. Plus, with the mobile endings, everyone can win. I could definitely think of one series where a mobile ending situation would make it way better. Plus, if this anime does get a continuation and you get the choice of what ending to give this movie, I definitely know it will say apart from multiple different romantic comedy anime out there. Heck, even harem anime, because this one will give you an ending where he chooses one girl. Next one up, guys, is one I've been very frustrated about ever since I first watched it. Chivalry of a Failed Knight. This series follows Hikikuru Gami, also known as the worst while being the lowest rated blazer within the academy. Interacting with his new roommate Stella, who is a transfer student and also a princess. And face that interaction, Iki starts to get more courage facing off against students who still see him as the worst one, increase his reputation, and of course have a blossoming love story between him and Stella. I've ranted and raved on this channel before about Chivalry of the Failed Knight and how it needs another season. And if you want more proof that there can be another season, look no further than the source material. Chivalry of the Failed Knight only adapted three light novels into the anime. That leaves 16 volumes and two extra side volumes. So there's plenty of source material left over to be adapted into a second season, maybe even more. Honestly, shout out to Unseen Whispers, who does an everything after the anime series. Thanks to that guy, I now know what happens after Chivalry of the Failed Knights anime. It does make me want the season 2 even more. But honestly, big shout outs to the guy. But still, why is there no season 2 of Chivalry of the Failed Knight? Well, apparently this is all due to Blu-ray sales at the time. Apparently the studio that made this anime only had the intention to make the anime to promote the light novels. So add in the fact that the Blu-ray sales were quite low, it left them no intention with making a season 2. 
But still, I'm holding some huge hopes. Shibaru for Bale Knight has gotten a big boom lately. A lot of fans are showing excitement for Shibaru of Bale Knight and are even saying that they want a season 2 of it. So adding what I said at the beginning that revivals are starting to become a mainstream thing, add in the fans that really want a second season, I think we've got a recipe for the revival of Chivalry of the Failed Knight. All we have to do now is to convince the studio to do it. Next up guys is one I just finished watching recently and it kind of left a bit of sweet taste in my mouth considering how it ended and it's Haganai, I Don't Have Many Friends. And before anyone mentions it, yes, this is the anime that spawned the legendary anime meme. Big brother, I want you to give me your big juicy thick d**k and drench me with your hot sticky d**k until I'm gasping for air there, I f**king said it! It puts a smile on my face every time I see it. So what's the series about? Well, it follows our characters being part of the friends club and their interactions between each other, learning how to get friends and the mischief that involves around our two main female leads, Yozara and Sena. And of course the big question, who's our main character Koda gonna be with? But the main thing that really gets me about this anime is how it ends. It ends with Sena telling Koda that she doesn't mind staying engaged with him. Which of course upsets Yozora, who clearly has feelings for him as well. So Kosuke makes a decision in the end, but it gets interrupted with a text message saying that she's going on an adventure. So we don't get a true conclusion to the anime. What's going on? So if we take a look at the source material, the anime adapts up to volume 8 of the light novels, meaning there are three more light novels left to adapt. And with the light novel ending in 2015 and the manga ending in 2021, there's still plenty of room to get this longer waited for a season. So what's the story? Well, I think it has something to do with the studio. If we take a look at the studio that made this anime being Anime International Company, it hasn't made any anime for quite a long time. Not since recently. It recently been rebranded as the AIC Rights Company, and it recently lent a hand in creating a new anime. So I won't be surprised if that's the reason. The anime got put onto a pause because the company didn't produce any anime for quite a while. Honestly, I can't get into the details of what happened to this company because I couldn't keep track of it in my head if I tried. Even looking at it on a script I've got right in front of me, I can't honestly read this. I'm going to be putting it on screen right now, so feel free to pause and have a read through yourself. But I honestly think I blew a brain cell trying to process it. But yeah, the reason why I put this anime on the list is because I hate the way it ended. It felt like we were getting a true conclusion. But no, nope, we ended it on a cliffhanger. It also looked like they were preparing for a season 3, but couldn't follow through with it. I was so mad I even tried to get the manga, and failed to do so, just to know how it ended. There's even a video game for it, but for the life of me I still can't find it. So I honestly want to say this is the anime I'm going to put high up on the list to say yes, it is possibly going to get another season. I honestly hope it does. I want the conclusion. If anything, I want more memes from this anime. Nothing else, just the memes. And finally guys, this is the one I teased right at the beginning of the list. And it's no game, no life. This is the poster child for wanting another second season. Alongside, of course, High School of the Dead right at the beginning. But what is the story? Well, it involves our two main characters getting transported into another world where everything's decided by games. They end up being in charge of humanity. I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be humanity. And then climb the ranks even higher to eventually challenge the gods of this world, Ted. And what makes this so frustrating is that this anime came out in 2014. 10 years ago at the time of recording this video. And the only new piece of No Game No Life anime that we got was a movie out in 2017. What a tease. So the big question is now, how much has been adapted? Well, No Game No Life has adapted the first three volumes of the light novel and the movie's adaption of volume six, leaving us in total nine volumes. So I think we can easily adapt what's a little left of 3, 4, 5, and probably a little bit of 6 that's not been used in the movie to create a second season, add in the movie on the end, and then use the rest of the remaining volumes to round up more seasons for No Game No Life. 
So what's the deal? Even the career has gone on Twitter and said that he wants a second season. I know Madhouse Studio is famous for not doing second seasons and onwards, unless you're called Overlord. But come on Madhouse, there's a huge demand for it. Do it! You've got a majority of the staff that worked on it. Others have gone on to do freelance work, so it's possible to make this second season. Honestly, again, a huge shout out to Unseen Whispers for doing a video on what happens after No Game No Life came to an end. Madhouse Studios hasn't gone out and said it's been cancelled, so hopefully we can convince them somehow to get a second season. We can only hope. And just like Shiro and Phil Knight, No Game No Life is getting a lot of hype these days and a lot of attention by fans, so maybe if we're lucky it can get a revival within a season 2. And there we have it guys, these are the 5 anime I want to see get another season. I'm pretty sure no one will disagree with this list. There's multiple plot points when it comes to this anime needs to be addressed. Multiple character developments needs to be finished off. We just need that extra season. And while yes, we can just go by the manga, the light novel and see what happens. But just something about seeing it as an anime just feels right. So that's all my thoughts out there. But I've just got one more thought to say. What do you think? Do you agree with this list? Do you think there's any other anime out there that needs another season? Leave it all down in the comment section down below. And heck, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. Help this video out, share it with a friend, get the word out there that these anime need another season. So with all that out of the way, I'm gonna go rewatch High School of the Dead and No Game No Life. So until next time, this is me, signing out. Bye bye.